is here, Dr. Stephanie, joining us. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Yeah. Well, on this Wednesday, not too many kids probably smiling. Although I'm seeing a lot of smiling photos on social media as people are heading the back. Kids are right parents are. Back. Parents, yeah. are <laughs> parents are. Parents are definitely <laughs> smiling. <laughs> but uh, what can we tell if we're looking at our smile? Because sometimes that can uh, indicate other things that are going on with you us. You know, there's there's a good site uh, that you can you can check or you can determine who's smiling for real and who's not. I mean, you can, oh, like, yeah. yeah, have you seen uh -oh. that? No. Kind of Is that like an that. app, like they click your I smile? Think it, I think or? it's kind of an app, yeah. So, I, I don't know. But you can really, you can tell if people mean it or if they're yeah. sort of just going through the motions or, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever they're their mood is, I guess. But yeah, parents should be happy. <laughs> Free it. time. Yeah. Free time. Back. Yeah. I just don't think the kids want their picture taken probably most of the time. No, they're just mad. Well, yeah. I just think, guys really in the you know, and you've brought this up before, this this connection between the, the health of our teeth and our gums and, and the rest yeah. of our body. And there's a lot more of a connection than a lot of people realize. There, and there's more and more research all the time to support it. There's actually one specific bacteria that lives only in the mouth and then in the plaques in our arteries. So wow. oh. those are the only two places that it lives. There are also, um, it's such a mouthful to go actually, but there's also a bacteria that if we, so we actually can do saliva and blood testing, mm -hmm. to just really simple tests like a little prick the finger and saliva test to find out if you have any of the bacteria. There's one that um, can predispose you to heart attack four to seven times more likely to get a heart, to have a heart attack. Really? There's one that makes, um, that's, that you can, um, if you find it in the mouth, you're 12 times more likely to have a stroke. And so it's, I mean, really, really simple tests that we have now to be able to determine that. And a lot of people, I mean, I know, I know why people avoid the dentist. I get it. But it, it's such, it's, there's so many things that we can determine now about overall health that, that, you know, things that live in the mouth that really are very, very scary things. Is this something your dentist would catch if you go regularly to the dentist or is this something it's you would something, request? It's something that you would request. It's something that you would that, you know, if we see certain signs or, you know, it's usually periodontal disease or mm -hmm. gingivitis. I mean, like really any bleeding in the mouth is very bad. Really? You know, a lot of people think that, yeah, well, think about it. I mean, like there's no other place. I mean, if your hand started spontaneously bleeding, you'd be like, that's kind, of, that's kind of interesting, or your scalp started <laughs> bleeding spontaneously. I mean, right. but it's okay in the mouth, you in know. The mouth, like, oh, it's yeah, in the mouth. Blood. But it's not okay in the mouth. It's, I mean, we have what we call a no tolerance bleeding pro policy in the office, where you know we get concerned about that because that then the bacteria does get into your bloodstream and it does go to the rest mm -hmm. of your body. And you know, a lot of times in the past we kind of felt like the head was separate mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, right. from right. everything right. else. Now but you're concerning me. We're actually me. a continuous system. You're concerning me because you, you know I use these things yes, all I the know. time. Okay, I, I keep them in my pocket. Yes. I just reach into my pocket yep. and have one. Yep. Sometimes when I'm using one of these devices, yep. I will get a little bleeding. Yep. Now, and should I totally freak out then? Mm -hmm. or? Yes. No. Okay. No, um, <laughs> it, it, even yes, though no. it's common, it's not... A, I mean, it's not a sign of health, you know, I mean, it's, it's a right. sign that something may be going on, so I, I would certainly bring it up. There's also, I mean, there's different differences in some people get very concerned about that. I mean, some dentists and some hygienists get very, very concerned about that, and some are like, oh, no problem, it's, that's normal. Well, it's not normal. It's actually something that can be a big concern, and it's a sign that, you know, I mean, and certainly, you know, little kids gums don't bleed right. like adults and, and as we get older and, and you know in, in a different situation I mean then so this is more yeah. bleeding if, if you haven't done anything if you didn't irritate yeah, it in and some way exactly and if you're going to the dentist regularly and you know they're checking um, for signs of gum disease and they're checking you know we, I mean uh, I, we have patients sometimes that come in and they say I've never had anybody use that you know that probe and measure the, the yeah, like two mm, seven two, nine yeah, exactly, twelve yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can do that. Um, yeah yeah that one to three is normal mm -hmm. um, and anything over three is not normal so I mean you know there, I mean and, and and certainly I mean this is where I get into a, an area where I don't want to say anything bad about anyone but at the same time like if you're not having your gums checked on a regular basis when you go in for your regular checkup appointments mm -hmm. you need to find someone else okay let's I go mean, back to the that's gum really thing. really really important since you really are important. since you are the dentist here uh, c you, we hear these mm -hmm. numbers all the time yeah I've heard them a hundred times you guys yeah. have too. what in the heck do they mean what is one two so, two two what do so they you mean? have you have a tooth and you have gum tissue around the tooth and then underneath that gum tissue is the bone that holds our teeth in place okay. so that bone level we want to stay very very 
um, high and very solid with the tooth. So think of yeah. your tooth as a cement post. You don't want it to move around a lot. You want right. that, that cement to be very high or the bone to be very high around the tooth. So that gum tissue should be very tight around the tooth and the bone should be very high up on the tooth. If you're losing, if that gum tissue is kind of flappy and you're losing bone around the tooth, those numbers will get higher and higher. Yeah. So one to three is, is very um, normal and, you, and we should have one to three millimeters of... Uh, so those are millimeters. millimeters yep. So okay. it's a little teeny tiny measurement. Okay. We should have one to three millimeters of depth around our gum tissue, but we should not have more than that. Or and we sh shouldn't have bleeding when that little probe. That little probe should be able to go all the way around your tooth without bleeding. Okay. So, yeah, you all should right. get wow. probed on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. so. we you, you heard it, Jason. Yes, <laughs> yes I understand. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's what she's here for. Yes, so I'm here it, to promote that. Apart from arteries and heart, is there other bad stuff these Diabetes bacteria can do? Diabetes is, is a really big one. Uh, a lot of times if the mouth is a little out of control or there's bleeding and there, you know, there's things that are going on in the mouth, it can make diabetes worse or the diabetes can make the mouth worse. They kind of go back and forth. I see. So, uh, and there's, I mean, yeah, lots of things. I mean, you know, if, if somebody has cancer, Cancer and their their mouth is a mess. It's going to be very hard for the immune system to fight the cancer because it's also dealing with other issues oh, and that type of thing. So, yeah, the yeah. immune system can only you know it's like it's like you know little soldiers or whatever it can only handle so much. You know, if your army is big enough, you're fine, and if it's not, then you're in trouble. Right. You know, what about very bad breath? Is that any indications of anything? It, you know, it's funny that you say that. Um, we were just my husband and I just went uh, to visit some friends. At, we went to Napa Valley and we were doing a wine tasting. And the guy that was putting on the wine tasting was this very charismatic guy, but he had the worst breath and it's not as like as a dentist it's really hard because it's not there's like sort of like morning breath and then there's sort of chronic bad breath right so right. some people have you know that really really bad you know mm -hmm. you always can just kind of smell it coming off of them and that's usually periodontal disease or gum disease breath and and that's we there were three of us that were dentists sitting around this table having a wine tasting and uh, it was very distracting. <laughs> because so did you I tell them like, here, you no, need to go see your dentist? No, but did no. all did all I the mean, dentists lock eyes and and real? We, yeah. Yes, it was a very yeah understanding. Said, like, and, an know, an and, and again, it's it's because we or understand that you know. And it was funny because this guy was is was in his forties and he was so excited because he was having his first child and they never thought they'd Aww. be able to have children. And I'm thinking. You have some really serious risk factors for not making it to see that child grow up. I mean, right. that's that was a wow. big deal yeah. to me. So, yeah. So no, I mean, because he was in California, I thought maybe it wasn't appropriate for me to. And say he drinks something. wine all day. That he drinks wine all day, so yeah. that might help. You know, yeah. It's a little yeah. Oh. All right. So go to your dentist, not just because uh, making your teeth and, pretty and white. And not There's just some because, reasons. I mean, don't go because you think you have bad breath. I mean, although we can address that for you, it's a very, you know, difficult conversation to have. Right. But at the same time, if you know somebody or if you're kissing somebody that has that chronic bad breath or something like that, you know, yeah, it's hard to get people to go if they don't want to go, but it's, it's really important. But you can do something about it. Oh, my gosh, yeah, tons of things, absolutely, okay. yeah. So many yeah. reasons to go to your dentist more than just cleaning and making sure you have a white smile. Much right. more than that. All right, how do they find yeah. your place in case they want to stop by? Well, we're on Jordan Creek Parkway. We're right next to Culver's, which is mm -hmm. always a little dangerous. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, any and and then our website is dmsmiles.com. Wonderful, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, Doctor. You. We'll be back. This is a great day.